Hey guys, how's it going? On behalf of the Hollywood Bomber crew and the Hangar Rats channel, we want to wish you folks all a happy holidays, season greetings, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Festivus, whatever whatever your style is. Um, have a great one this year. We're going to take a, a quick little different episode this week. We went to a part supplier. It should be a fun episode. And then next week is going to be the last working episode of the year when we'll probably do a yearly wrap-up of what we've got done in the last four months on the Hollywood Bomber. Biggest thing is like, share, subscribe, notify, and we are working our tail off. We're going to plan on getting this airplane up to Oshkosh Air Venture 23. That is our big push goal. We want to make it happen, and we can't do it without you guys, so definitely uh, help out if you can. we got the GoFundMe. We've got all sorts of ways to do it, so definitely... Rock and roll, here we go. Hollywood Bomber, one more episode, two more episodes before the end of the year. So uh, catch you later. Have a great weekend. Hey guys, we're going flying today. So we took a quick trip up to Owasso, Oklahoma. Oscar 38 Gundy's. Dr. Bill was kind enough to be pilot in command and use his airplane, took us up there. Kind of bouncy the whole way up, but uh, we were able to get high enough to kind of get into the smooth air. We had some big tailwinds, which we're going to have to regret on the way home, but that allowed us to really scoot along northbound, making this into about a one-hour trip, which was really kind of nice. And Oklahoma and Texas area and this part of the country uh, not what you'd expect. You might expect a lot of just fields and plains and whatnot, but uh, a lot of woods, a lot of pretty lakes. Still kind of flat, but uh, very, very pretty country. So things hard to believe in Texas this time of year. Uh, tad bit green. So here we go. Take two. Hey, we're at Southwestern Aero, and we're going to go up into uh, let's go get some parts and uh, see how it goes. Here we go. Wish us luck. <laughs> There she is. Wave. <laughs> You're in. Okay. Here we go. Do, do, do. Light switches on. All these guys. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And we've got our pick ticket. Let's see. Our pick ticket says go right down this aisle. Do, do, do. And we've got aisle numbers up here. So we're looking for B3. One, two, three. Oh, down there. That's three up here. That wouldn't be it. Nope. Okay. We're looking for B3, one, oh, third, 120 and 119. That's what we're looking for, 120 and 119. What do you have on your shelves back there? Looking for 120 and 119. We're looking for, uh, we're looking for a 120 and 119. Oh, here we go. I can see something that looks like parts. I've got 163, 170, 104, 120, and 119. Do, do, do. 172. This is great. This is kind of cool place. Look, check this stuff out. New old stock parts. Unbelievable stuff. All sorts of for, uh, fairings and stuff, ribs. Uh, this thing is absolutely cool. Here's some wing tips. These are kind of cool wing tips so if you need a wing tip here are the extended metal wing tips that one looks brand new um all sorts of cool stuff what else have we got here actually what am i looking for i'm looking for uh have you found 120 119 okay 135 75 135 oh there's numbers on the other side of the aisle too we're just goofing around okay let's see do to do check this out Brand new rib, Beechcraft parts and all that stuff. Totally cool. Fairings, all sorts of stuff. Number three. Uh, you got 120? No. I'm looking for 120 and 119. Elevator spars. Here's 122 and 123. 123? Hey, here it is. You see little ribs? I don't know if that's the right aisle, but we'll check it out. Okay, we're going down this way. Is it 120? 120. What's 120 look like? Boom! That's it, brother. <laughs> okay, now we need one of those. So that should be a 6252. I thought there's two of them. Pull one of those apart. 
Okay, that's cool. Come on now. Okay, look at this brand new beach grab. 8252 10. Oh, that one's got a little. Is that supposed to be that way? Double check. Double check it. It's got both the same thing. Yes. Yeah, and then we need. Indeed. We need a double check the part number on this one. This needs to be a 18652 9. So that's cool. Okay, so that's. Actually, I'm gonna. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so. Dash 9. So we got a dash 9 dash 10. So 1963. Well, there you go. Beautiful. Okay, so put one of those up. We don't really need one of those guys. So that was kind of cool. Okay, I'm gonna flip you around again. There is all sorts of stuff. This is this is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Cool stuff. Check this out. Air ducts, brand new air ducts, all sorts of cool stuff like that. Um, all sorts of things. Uh, exhaust muff, uh, exhaust muffs, tubes, tube assemblies, brand new old stock tube assemblies. Um, look at all the doors. Yeah, doors. Yeah, look at the doors. And again, I'm going to zoom back here. These are all escape hatches on the uh, for the uh, right side of the aircraft. Check this out. Root rib. I'm going to I'm going to move back. Root rib for the wing. Brand new old stock. Pretty cool. What other kind of cool stuff have we got? Tubes, 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 tubes. So, if you got a twin beach, this is the place. All sorts of stuff. Let's see what else we have. This looks like brake stuff. Looks like a brake master cylinder of some sort. I don't know. Don't know all my part numbers. But this stuff is all here. It's here somewhere. Um, normally, they can find it for you. Here's tailwheel assemblies, uh, complete tailwheel assemblies. Um, and that is a, uh, looks like a four inch, four inch journal tire for journal tire. Brand new, old stock stuff. Um, doodads, other doodads, all sorts of stuff. What other things do we have? Doors, tail gear, uh, tail wheel door, tail wheel doors, stuff like that. Um, dish pans, engine dish pans, complete dish pan assemblies, uh, steel, steel parts for uh, spar repairs, that kind of stuff. Um, here's the top tips of rudders. You can see all the rudders they have. Boom, 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 boom. Whole crap ton of rudders. Vertical stab. Um, more tubes. Tubes and tubes and tubes and tubes. They had a raccoon come in here and make all the mess, so they're working on cleaning that up. That's just a temporary thing. Exhausts. Uh, these are the uh, uh, muff-type exhausts for the uh, external heat. Kind of cool. Here's the other end of all the rudders and vertical fins. Again, just tons and tons of stuff. All brand new, old stock stuff. Let's see what this is. That's a can't get it. That's a uh, tube flex tube. Here's another flex tube. Just all sorts of neat stuff. Brand new, brand new bulkheads, stringers, stuff like that. So if you have structural repair stuff, um, they have it. Here's a, looks like fuel tank strap. This looks like fuel tank strap type stuff. Pardon my aim. I'm new at this. That's just a cardboard thing. Um, more doors. Looks like uh, main gear. Um, main gear and uh, tail wheel doors. Formers, 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 bulkheads, fittings, all sorts of stuff. More uh, more rings. We'll go down this aisle. There's kind of cool things in here. Let's see what we have here. More doors, um, bulkhead rings for the uh, firewall area, engine compartment, uh, skins. What is this, skin? That's cool. In Cosmoline. In Cosmoline, brand new skins. Uh, looks like probably no skins. Uh, tank. More dish pans. Lots of dish pans. Here you go. For those folks looking for original instruments, that kind of stuff. That's original, original, original dinosaur stuff. So if you're trying to do a numbers matching C45 or something like that, they probably have this stuff for you. This looks like an Astrodome. How cool is that? Astrodome for your AT... Well, it's not your 11. I think it's your, uh, what is it? Is it your 11 or 7? You guys tell me. Put comments below uh, what you think it is. It's uh, it's the Navigator Trainer. Let's see what else we have over here. T-34 parts. Hey, you need a T-34 canopy? There you go. They've got a T-34 rear canopy and mid canopy. So if you're looking for one of those, call them up. 
Uh, there's some seats, tons of seats and stuff like that, all sorts of things. Uh, other end of the aisle of the uh, of this, this is actually kind of like Ghostbusters. This is kind of cool. Um, wheel assemblies, you need some wheel assemblies, original wheel assemblies, more doors. Uh, these look like cabin doors and they probably have the, uh, yep, these are cabin doors, uh, AT11, check that out. Cool stuff. C45, D18, um, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. You can see this one here has the original military markings on it and all that. Um, here are tube assemblies. How cool is this? Tube assemblies in Cosmoline war surplus stuff. Brand new. So you, you take that off, it's like brand new. Okay, elevators, <clears throat> fabric covered elevators. They've got, they just have tons of stuff. All sorts of seats. The problem with the Twin Beach is there's so many different kinds of seats, but they have them. They've got pieces and parts, so they can probably help you out. Okay, noses, nose fairings. Um, this one's kind of cool. I don't know what this is all about. It's got, looks like it's got a uh, big, uh, big snog on it for something. I'm not sure what that is. And that, this is the bottom. I don't know what that is. That's kind of cool. C45 stuff. Complete bulkheads. You can see a complete bulkhead with the door going into the uh, back, the avionics bay. Again, chunks of aircraft, all sorts of cool stuff. Neat stuff. What else have we got? Skins. Here's a brand new skin. See, it's got the extra tab. Brand new nose skin. Spinners. Oh, just all sorts of stuff. Just tons and tons of stuff. Instrument panels. You want to build up an instrument panel? They've got instrument panels. Cool stuff. You can see a myriad of instrument panels. How neat is that? So, definitely cool stuff. Um, here's some pieces. Uh, interior air ducting, that kind of stuff. More, do more gear doors. Just all sorts of stuff. There's another thing I have <clears throat> for those folks. Um, they've got some of these uh, bar setups, tables, setups, ready to go. Um, so you might... If you're looking for something like that you might talk to them about that so kind of neat stuff this is for mr raccoon so hopefully they can find mr raccoon see how that goes anyway that's it for now we're gonna go back downstairs and uh, go pay for our stuff and get out of here let these guys get back to work but southwestern arrow owasa oklahoma near twin beach supply shop one of the one of the many that still have tons of parts so if you need anything get a hold of these guys they'll help you out Okay, we're on first floor. We're doing some more digging around. We uh, we went and did some stuff upstairs, and we're going to just kind of do some more digging around here. Because it's cool. I'm going to put you in front of me because there's more stuff to look at. Here we go. Okay, let's see what we have. Beacons. Old Grimes beacons. These are the uh, old mechanical ones. So if you need parts, you can probably cabbage some of that stuff there. Cool stuff. Propellers. Here's some propeller hubs. Uh, what else? This is all the little piece part stuff. Lots of little itty bitty doodads, gaskets doodads. Some of the stuff you'll see they're out of stock, but some of the stuff, any of the box that's right side up is good. So you can see they've got a ton of stuff here. Uh, bonding straps. I know these always look, uh, these end up uh, going crappy. So these are, they got the seven inch, nine inch, 11 inch. I know on our airplane, we need to do uh, change a bunch of stuff. Door seals, um, there's a gear fork, brand new gear for it kind of cool there's a uh, stencil on it world war ii type stencil so that's kind of cool um there's some more stencils so if you're trying to rep replicate the uh the markings there's some oil coolers down on the floor of course you probably want to service them but still they've got them these are kind of cool these are the the uh different uh i think it's for the uh, floor widgets so that's for putting the floor uh, seats in so in fact, I know that we need a couple of those. We'll be back for those. Um, what other stuff have we got? All sorts of stuff. We're going to go counterweights for... Uh, oh, nose strut collar. There's a nose strut collar. For those of the nose strut. Uh, da, 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 da. Cores. There's uh, landing gear. Motor cores. Flat motor cores. Uh, generators. All sorts of stuff there. Um, propeller. Feathering pumps. Um, kind of cool. You don't see that stuff very often anymore. Kind of neat stuff. Um, instruments, all sorts of old instruments. Some of the stuff, if you're uh, looking for some period correct stuff, even for a non-beach, they've got some stuff you might ask them and see if they have what you need. Batteries, the land of dead batteries, probably don't need those. What other stuff they've got here? Just all sorts of cool stuff. 
Here's chunks of landing uh, of uh, wing with uh, landing light, complete landing light installation. If you're looking for that kind of stuff, uh, exhaust components, uh, all sorts of things. Um, you can see here <clears throat> again exhaust pieces and parts. Uh, I don't know what that's from. That's from not not a Twin Beach. I don't believe. Um, control cables. Here's a flap control, cowl flap type stuff. All sorts of things like that. Um, what is this? This kind of looks cool. This is just neat. I don't know what that is. There's something in there. Um, check this out. Check these containers out. Let's see what's in this container. Indicator. There's a brand new indicator. All mil spec type stuff. Check this out. Supply Depot, Royal Canadian Air Force. So you know that's been in there a while. What is that? That's an indicator, flap indicator. Brand new flap indicator. We might have to talk to Shelly about that. We might need to cabbage one of those. The container's just cool. There's some more containers that are cool. Check this out. This little stocking coat. This is stuff you don't see anymore. So if you're trying to put different things together, more ca control cables, spinner, go down this aisle. What other stuff have we got? Hinge materials, um, just several sorts of doodads. I'm just trying to figure out things that I can identify with. Um, cabin lights, I'm looking for the original cabin lights. Probably need a new curly cord, but these will clean up. So that's kind of cool. We used to call these, we used to call these B4 lights in that these were there before I worked on it. They look, they work real good on, a, on fishing boats. Uh, what other stuff? Here's some more different skins and all that. Uh, instruments, instruments, instruments. Let's look at these radios. There's some cool radios. Chaff dispenser. So if you're looking for a chaff dispenser, um, fuel air ratio gauge. Um, there's an old oil pressure gauge. These are kind of cool. Front face. Let's see who built these. Uh, da, 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 da. Cambridge Instrument Company. La, 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 la. Doesn't say who or where, but that's kind of cool. All little bulbs. Check the little bulb out. That's got a cool little baby floodlight. Neat stuff. You ever wonder what's inside of a gyro? There's a gimbal inside of a, a gyro. Kind of cool. Just little doodads. Oh, one other stuff over here. Uh, drive cables. Actually, I think, I don't know if these are for the, uh, we're actually needing some for our uh, windshield wipers, but what other stuff? Vacuum pump. Here's some cable if you need to make new cables. There's a control panel. Uh, let's see. Here you go. VHF. That's sweet. Narco. A UDI 28. So you got the Narco thing there. That. Um, ADF marker. So this would have been center console on something. But check that out, man. VHF receiver. There's no flip flops in this guy. Heck no, man. This thing's this thing's kind of chewy, but she'll clean. She'll clean. Check that out. And then we have, uh, oh man, this is awesome. ADF. Yeah, see? 110, 109, 108. And then you can change that. Oh yeah. Yeah, this thing's kind of chewy, but hey, you know what? You can listen to soccer games on this baby. Yeah, sweet. And I don't know what that does. It's probably a squelchy thing or something. Well, that's probably micro tuning. Who knows? Pretty cool. More hinges, uh, probably for, uh, Probably for uh, trim tabs and tail wheels and things like that. Engine mounts. Need an engine mount? They got engine mounts. Oh, here we go. We might be talking. This is your, this is your whole gizmo for windshield wipers. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, this is your whole gizmo for the windshield wiper center, center uh, deal, and then those other two. Pretty cool. Let's see what other stuff we have in here. Cylinder. Neat. Oh, I know what we need to do. We're going to go upstairs again. We're going to go upstairs again and uh, check out, see if they have a janitorial heater for us. Because I need a janitorial heater. Okay, upstairs. Janitorial heaters. Now, Shelly told me she had janitorial heaters in here somewhere. Let's see. Somewhere over here she had janitorial. Oh, here we go. Check this out. Boom, baby. So, let's see. I'm just doing a looky-loo here. Um... Janitorial S100. We might be, but definitely back for that. Let's see what other stuff they have in here. Brand new stuff. Yep. Whole bunch of them. Okay. So we know where to come for those. Here's cargo doors, freight doors, all sorts of doors. Okay. Okay. Here we're going on to the third level. Going up to the third level. 
Pardon my English. I'm gonna, oh, bounce. I'm gonna put you in front. Lights are kinda out because it's so cold. Bunch of dish pans, uh, flaps, all sorts of stuff here. More tail feathers, lots of tail feathers. Um, nose cones. Just moving around here so I don't trip. Um, more stuff like that, all different, all different items. And these are all cataloged with pick locations and all that. You, can, you end up going all the way down there. There's just tons and tons of stuff. So pretty cool, pretty cool barn find. This is kind of your later model, later model nose cones. Pardon the noise outside. They are chipping and shredding the uh, trees out there. There's some ailerons. Um, air ducts for your oil coolers. In fact, that's kind of interesting. This is kind of cool. You can see how the oil cooler duct actually makes a big U-turn. Comes in the front of the wing, up, makes a U-turn, then comes up to the top of the firewall. So that's kind of cool. All uh, This almost looks just in great shape. Almost looks brand new. So kind of cool. Very cool. And it just looks like a big sousaphone. There's a fabric-covered flap pretty much ready to go and there's more and more flaps ailerons all different conditions just more and more stuff down there so kind of cool okay doke it's kind of scary up here so i'm gonna uh i'm gonna head back downstairs so that's a sneak peek at the uh warehouse at southwestern arrow exchange twin beach parts tons of twin beach parts at11 c45 d18 e18 GH18, H18. Totally cool. There's probably even some, who knows, God knows what other kind of parts in here, but tons of stuff. So that's it for now. I'm signing off. We'll catch you guys later. Well, we're done with our work, so we're headed back to Fort Worth by way of Gainesville, Texas. Kind of bumpy on the takeoff and the departure, uh, bumpy runway and then bumpy air for the first three or four thousand feet. And then pretty much a seamless flight south to Gainesville. We didn't have quite the winds on our tail because now it's on our nose, but we still were able to eke out about 150, 560 knots. So that was uh, that made for pretty decent ride back and we were up high enough to get in the smooth so that made for a real decent trip still things are hard to believe a little bit green in december here in uh, texas and oklahoma area because we did have some rain a few weeks ago landed at gainesville really nice airport big runways a lot of corporate stuff goes in there also great little uh, fbo type of uh, terminal there. Then we took one of the courtesy cars, headed down to Dieter Brothers for some barbecue, just because. Always a pretty good time at Gainesville. Very nice ramp. Place is uh, pretty darn clean and organized. Good fuel prices, and it was just a pretty day for flying. Hey guys, that was a fun flight. We just did a... Uh quick trip up to Tulsa picked up some parts for the Hollywood bomber did a quick pre-buy on a little Ronca and uh, now we're back and uh, gonna get into some other stuff so that's it for quick trip out um, on to the next
you what's on my mind. It's butt cold out here, and I'm fresh out of beer. <laughs>